So the question is, do you recognize that Israel is an occupying state of the Palestinian territories and that it refuses to withdraw from them? Yes. However, ladies and gentlemen, Israel has a right to exist. And the only way that the Palestinians can have an opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to have a state of their own is if they give up on this misguided belief in jihad because the only way to win their struggle against Israel is through mass non-violent resistance. And if Israel is the aggressor, then they need to demonstrate that they are the better person. But whilst ever the struggle of the Palestinians is in the pocket of jihadis, the jihadis will always ensure that Israel is the better man. And I encourage Israel to be the better man in this fight right now. Any other questions or comments, ladies and gentlemen, about the Christian faith? Go on. Follow up, follow up question. Go on. Uh, what do you think the best solution is to bring peace between Palestinians and Israel? So the question is, what do I think is the best way to bring peace in the Israeli-Palestine conflict? Here's, firstly, let's just admit, have the courage to admit to ourselves it's probably not going to happen because the Palestinian cause have been hijacked by Islamists. And until that cause is separated from the Islamists, there's no end to this war. If Israel puts its weapons down tomorrow, Israel ceases to exist. If Hamas puts down and the Palestinian jihadis put down their weapons tomorrow, there will be peace, but there may not be justice. And that is when the international community has to step in and genuinely put pressure on Israel to provide justice. Because I don't think that Israel has the stomach to rein in its settler movement. I don't think that Israel has the strength to deal with its own extremists. But America could make Israel do so and should. And the only way that that battle for justice can be won is through non violent resistance. However, ultimately, the best path for solution right now is for the international community to say that it has had enough of this problem, to seize Gaza under an international mandate, backed by the international community, destroy the terrorist networks, secure the borders of Israel, resist settler encroachments forcefully, defend the rights of Palestinians, and then, and only after, there's been six generations that have known only peace and only security on both sides hand over Gaza to Palestinians who have known only peace and security, having shown them that prosperity comes from peace and not war. And why as a Christian do I say that? Because Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers. Well, sometimes you make peace through the sword you don't make peace through good intentions, nice words and prayer. How long must the rest of the world suffer because of a fight that is not our own?
any other questions or comments? So the question is, how do we deal with all the settlers? In each and in every case, each case needs to be taken to an international tribunal and the international tribunal should decide on each case and the international community should impose its will whatever the decision is. And if that means removing Jewish settlers, that's what you do. If that means agreeing that the Jews own the land, that is what you do. And I think to some degree, pragmatism is just going to be, have to be part of some of those judgments. Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen, about anything to do with Christianity? Okay, thank you very much for listening. Gonna go on to another topic.